Hi, this is an update to a post that was made in 2008, uh, just making sure you can change the default guest account in Lion as opposed to Leopard or Snow Leopard. Uh, they changed something a little bit sneakily. Um, and it's useful if you, like me, have to manage multiple Macs, but you want the guest account to be uh, a little bit more bespoke, uh, but you don't want them to be networked in some way. So here it, here it goes, really. Uh, go to the system preferences, and in the preferences, just check that uh, unlock first that uh, you actually have uh, a guest account that's able to log into the computer and in login options that you've got fast user switching there because uh, that's important because we need to access both of the accounts at the same time. Um, then we're going to change and switch to guest user and uh, I'll see you in guest user account. And here we are in the guest account. Now the guest account, I'm using a mouse here and the tracking's awful, I find, by default. So basically we can change anything, even in the preferences. So I can go to mouse, uh, change the tracking speed. Um, you can go in and change any of the settings. So in the trackpad option, if you love or hate the natural direction or the zoom in and out, anything can be changed here uh, for your preferences. So there might be little settings that you want to uh, alter. Importantly as well, um, if I open up Safari, I can change home pages. Um, so instead of all the time, that little intro coming up for Safari, which happens every time you open up the guest account, um, you can actually just go to your website, which in this case is going to be my school's web address. And we can go into Safari, hit Preferences, set to the current page. So now that will be the default every time the students log in. Also, we can add applications into the doc. So Google Chrome, for example. And all the time, it would keep asking you normally to go through this process as if it's the first time. Do you want it as your default browser? What, uh, what search engine do you want to use? Uh, getting started. All of these kind of annoying things which, uh, which isn't useful uh, when you just want guests to come on and quickly use the accounts. Um, same process, really. You just start typing in um, home pages. Go to preferences. Open the following pages, use current pages, and we're back in uh, with Chrome. One thing I do also find useful is uh, not only can you just obviously add the application to the dock, but uh, one of the things that Google tries to get you to do, if I close it down now, is every time you open it, it tries to get you to make it the default browser. Um, so you can say, don't ask, and for some reason, it always asks you twice. There we go, it's sneaky like that. Uh, but now, from the student's point of view, when they open up Chrome or any guest, that will just come up straight away without any of the annoying uh, preferences. So it's always a, always uh, useful, I think, to open up any applications that have um, first-time opening sequences, um, like Word, Pages. Uh, just get them all out of the way first and do that now. Uh, you can also remove applications, like we use uh, Google Apps, so there's no need for the address book, the mail, or the calendar. Stream that down, and you can add or remove um, any features that you want from the dock, including a desktop background if you prefer. So that's really it. Just make the changes you want to change. The key is now that we're going to switch accounts while this guest account is still uh, live. We are not going to log out, otherwise everything would reset back to default. So uh, I'll see you back in my administrator account. Right, so now we have to kind of copy the template um, over the default template. So to do that, uh, we open up the uh, Mac hard drive, and we go into the system settings, and we go to library, and we'll want to go to user template here, which is locked out for the moment, but we'll come back to that. We then also grab the another copy, go to users, and go to guest, and basically here are uh, all the kind of guest uh, accounts as they are right now. Um, now, in uh, just in reference to the original person who uh, made this YouTube uh, app, I'm going to put uh, what I'm copying, where I'm copying from on the left, and where I'm copying to on the right. Um, if you watch his original video, you'll just understand that that's a, a thing he has. Now. What I'm going to say is um, we need to go into this user template. So right click, get info, go to the sharing permission, uh, unlock it, and add yourself. 
So just a little plus. Grab yourself in there and allow yourself to uh, read and write. So that's great. We can now go into the user template section. And what we're interested in is this English LProj here. So what I'm going to do is I'm also, because I'm just paranoid like that, I'm just going to duplicate uh, that file. Yes, I definitely do. I'm going to need to type in a little confirmation for that because of uh, where we are. I just like to keep a little copy of that just in case uh, you want to go back to uh, how things used to be. Uh, I'm going to go back into this account. You can notice that uh, the guest account and this are extremely similar, as they should be, because uh, it's basically the template uh, that Lion uses. However, the key file that's missing uh, here from the guest account is the library. Uh, and that really is uh, the one that we need to copy. So where is it? That's the problem from Snow Leopard to Lion here. That's what was missing from the original post. Um, what you do is, in fact, unhide it, because it is just hidden. So we grab Terminal, and uh, we change uh, Finder setting for this. Um, now, here's the appropriate text that I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, you should find this now uh, underneath the video. I've left this here for you to copy and paste yourself. Uh, just going to copy that in and uh, paste it. By the way, if you want to change it back to uh, not show all the hidden files, we can just change that yes for no um, after you're done if you want to go back to where you were. But uh, I actually like to keep that open. So there we go. That's it. Done. Now, why can't I see it now? Uh, just because I need to restart Finder. And if you don't know, uh, that's just a quick way in Terminal to uh, kill Finder and reopen it. Okay, so there we go. We have the files there, and look what we have. Library. That's the key folder that we needed. Uh, I'm just going to unlock two of them, because uh, I didn't change anything else. So I'm just going to go in there and uh, unlock that. I uh, add myself in, as we did previously, and give myself read and write access to that file. And also the same uh, with where I want to copy it to, only because I'm just going to delete this file. Uh, it doesn't sometimes let you, because it's a shaded file, uh, duplicate it. So I'm just going to get the information, unlock, add myself. and give myself read write permission on that as well. And what I'm actually going to do, which is why I took a backup, so don't worry too much about this, I'm actually going to trash the library in the template folder, okay, um, just because uh, it's no longer required. Uh, you will need, because it's a big file, uh, to do that. And I'm literally just going to copy and paste my file, again, because of where we are. We need the security. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to continue. And it's quite a big file, actually, about 230, 300 uh, meg. And that's the key. If you changed any desktop files, any of the movie files, music pictures, or public files, you'll need to drag those over as well. Um, like as we say here, desktop documents, downloads, movies, music. So anything that you changed, if you want to add preloaded files into those areas, you'll also need to copy those across as well. Now, that's pretty much it. Okay, now when we go back into the guest account, it should load up when we restart exactly as it did before. So I'm going to go back to my guest account and um, restart and see if everything works as hoped for. Now, before I do this, um, I will just make one note. If, like me, you are going to do this over multiple computers, then what you're going to need to do is delete this folder here in the keychains. Um, it's okay if you're doing it on the computer that uh, if you're only going to change the default on one computer. But uh, what I didn't know, and I made this mistake myself, is that Lion has a hidden password that it doesn't ask you for any guest accounts. And as soon as you um, distribute this uh, to other computers, uh, it will start asking you for passwords that you don't have. Uh, so it's really important that, in fact, you uh, trash the uh, keychains um, file as well, if you're going to be uh, displaying this image on multiple computers. I actually use remote 
uh, desktop remote and just fly this directly into the uh, library folder here, uh, just sometimes by just grabbing that icon here and just getting the info and uh, just grabbing that little section there and copy and paste that into uh, remote desktop so you can just fly this out to all the computers in a room or, or network. I find that particularly useful, but do not forget to delete that keychain. Okay, well I'll see you in the guest user. So here I am back in the uh, guest account. Uh, I'm gonna just simply log out, and uh, when I log back in, everything should be the same as uh, I've set it up here. Just noting that I have Google Chrome, uh, Safari in here now, and uh, Let's just see how that goes, and hopefully my homepage will uh, come back too. So let's log out. So success, we've uh, reloaded the account, and Safari and Chrome are there. Now for the moment of truth, when I start Safari, there we go, we're at my homepage. So basically you can customize your um, guest account as much as you want now, um, and just like I said, uh, copy that library folder across uh, and don't forget to remove those keychains if uh, you're doing that over multiple computers. I mean, this has now saved me hours and hours of work and uh, stress from the students uh, wasting their time all the time logging on and, and changing things to how they want to. Um, so really useful. I uh, hope you found it that too. Bye.